Hey guys, uh, this is Haifeng. In last tutorial, I have showed you how to set up an environment to generate a report in PDF format. We have installed VCPrint Plotly, and today I want to go over the uh, uh, source code and show you the basics and how it really works. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, uh, the driver file under uh, the root directory. I import vcprint jinda2 and here's the settings for uh, the the project root the asset directory which is the uh, the asset folder here and all the images I use is here and a template uh, source which is the template directory here then the CSS uh, source which is under static CSS and for the driver.py I'm using a style.css then the template name, the CSS name, output name and we have just one very simple function here okay first of all we initialize uh, an environment instance we pass the template name to it we give it the CSS name, which uh, we, uh, when we render it into PDF report, we uh, add the styles sheets. And here you can see the template variable. This is uh, used by Jinja, right? We pass it into the template, and uh, the k value pair here, the k is the assets directory, this is the variable. I use it in the templates, and here it is uh, the variable assets directory and this is the uh, interpolation we use a uh, double classes uh, Chris double braces curly braces and then we rendered the string we use that we use we say print to get get a HTML uh, object then we give it uh, the uh, the report uh, output absolute path right? and let's check uh, the Python version first this is under the uh, environment PDF right here it shows PDF we run it you can see the file is generated under this path let's uh, copy it and open the folder here close it and here we generated uh, our report in PDF format okay then I want to show you guys how to render the report how to how how to render this report in web view okay there are some known issues and bugs but uh, if we render it into web page it will help us to debug it easily we can chain, uh, we can check the padding margin and uh, fonts very easily I'll show you soon okay so here under the project root you can see there's driver py which we just uh, we just run it and generate reporting in PDF. Here's another one is a flask underscore driver dot py. I show you the source here, and the, the uh, concept is very similar to driver dot py. Okay, so first of all, we assign this uh, flask underscore driver dot py as the flask app, right? Then we we run flask app. Here you can see uh, the the flask is under our PDF environment. Okay. So now you can see uh, it is running under HTTP localhost host port five thousand. And here you can see I have two routes. The first is uh, slash my dash report. Another one is slash 
my-report.pdf. So it shows us everything here, okay? And you can see the image here is not shown, and and also the color page here is not shown. That's because we run we run our uh, app as a Flask app, and it uh, cannot uh, access to the uh, the files located on our uh, system. So what we're gonna do is uh, go into the assets folder. Okay, all the images I'm using is here. I'm using a HTTP dash server. This is a command line to start a server to start a HTTP server. So I give it a current uh, a directory. So you can see now the server is running and uh, it is available on this uh, on localhost on port 8080. I show you. Uh, how to access to the uh, github.png file okay so we paste it here slash github.png you can access to the file and we want uh, access to our chart svg file and you can see it's here right that's why I modify the ss directory to this URL and if we come over here refresh it so you can see the images here is accessible but there's a known bug if I define the background use the cover page here it cannot be accessible. Even I modified uh, to HTTP localhost 8080 PNG, it's not working. But this will not affect our debugging rate because uh, we can render it uh, into PDF in the final step and we can check if the car page is working or not. Uh, so what's the benefits to render it into the web page is you can use the Chrome web tool to debug your layouts and check the details so for example here you can see uh, the color the font size the font family right and also for the features this is using a flex box and you can now see the padding is a uh, 20 pixel let's check it here that's features, features, feature, right? The padding is five here, just modified. I haven't uh, ref uh, refresh it here. Let me reload it. Sometimes it's not working properly. Let me call reload. Okay, I think it's uh It's still not working. I restarted here and close this page. Co host my report. Check the dev tool. Here. Now you can see the padding is 10 pixel now, right? And here it is 10 pixel. Sometimes the reloading is not working properly. I have to restart the server myself. This is a known issue. And uh, yeah, that's uh, 
checking the uh, the margin, right? Padding margin and the color, which would be very helpful, right? Because uh, when we render it into PDF format directly, there's no way for us to check. Oh my God! The, uh, what is the the padding here, or what is the margin here, right? Th this is uh, not able to do that. We can we cannot debug it. But here, when we render it here, we can check the padding, and we can check the margin between the uh, the paragraph and the header here. Right, so it would be very helpful. Uh, next, I will show you um, the Wizard official samples. Here, there are three samples. The first one is reports, second is invoices, and third one is tickets. Uh, let's go to the uh, Wizard Projects. Let's go to take it first. Okay, uh, the clone is here. You can say here is the flask underscore take it dot py. We're gonna use this one. Export flask app equal to flask underscore take it py, right? And then we run it. And it is still hosted on 5000. And let's take it. So you can see here it renders in the PD, uh, in the web view. This is a really good example that show you the layouts here. Okay. So. Let's click here. You can say the, the source code for the ticket, which uh, has two sections. The first one is the information. The second one is ticket. And it is really helpful. You can you can see all the details here, right? We go to VC print project, go to take it, let's uh, open clone. And here's the ticket, the flask ticket. So here we import uh, flask and flask underscore VC print, right? We have two routes. The first route is take it, which is the one I'm showing you here. And it renders the take it, take it .html. And the second route is take it .pdf, uh, which will render the uh, PD, uh, render the, the report to uh, uh, render the take it in the PDF format. I show you here. There are some known bug. If you open the the dev tool, it will not render into a PDF format. I'll show you. It doesn't work. You can see it's loading, but it's not rendering. So, how do we render it properly? We close it, and uh, we stop it, and then reload it. Give it a PDF. Now you can say it is rendering into PDF, right? And you can save it. Take it PDF. But when you want to debug it and check your layouts, render it into a, a web page. That that is the, the best way to debug it. Okay. Here let's check um, what it does here. Okay. So the default name is Word. This is not used here. This is actually a, a it is like the the template variable here, right? 
you pass this name and pass it in to the ticket. But here I didn't use it. Just to let you know that it is like the Jinja 2. We can pass it into the ticket template. Let's go to the templates. It is uh, uh, ticket.html. Here you should be aware when we are rendering into a web page, you have to add this the style sheets link here in the header in the head and give it the folder. This is the uh, uh, flask convention. All the CSS is under static. Uh, under static folder, right? And uh, the ticket.css itself is in the styles folder. It's here. Okay, this is the only thing you need to be aware. And this one is very simple, so you can say it only has two sections, identical as what we saw um, in the dev tool, right? The dev tool, if we check it here, you can see the section, the section here, right? Which is identical in our template. Okay, I'll show you some uh, annoying issues. Uh, let's go to report. Clear here, go to clone. And we have the file flask underscore report dot py. Let's export it and run it. Flask. Let's run it. Okay. Let's open the source. To report clone. Let's open that here. Okay, we have two routes: report and report.pdf. Let's go to report. You can see here when we render this page, uh, it doesn't look very good. If we change it to letter size, it's uh, 700 times uh, 1,000 something. I don't remember the uh, exact uh, size. Convert from uh, uh, millimeters to pixel. It is very similar. And in this way, um, you can check the layouts here. Okay. And if we close it, we switch the route to report.pdf. You can see it renders into a, a final PDF format, which this is looks much better because here you can see it's it's quite different. Looks different, right? This is a, a known issue. If uh, any of you guys have found a better way to render it in a PDF report which can make it uh, identical uh, with its looks in the uh, PDF format, please uh, leave a comment and let me know. I really want to know how, how can we um, duplicate it in the web page, okay? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I wanted to show you guys today, uh, showing you all the uh, my report in the PDF format and also how to render it into a web page, how to debug the, the layouts, right? And also shows you uh, the official samples about the reports and tickets and how to check the source code and uh, how, how do we uh, render it, right? Thank you guys for watching. Bye.